Pardon me for... Damn it. What's going on everybody? I've been waiting for several months to get this in and I finally got it. It's my new leg. It's a uh, Flower All Pro Direct Mount. So I may have mispronounced that, so I'll read it off to you. It's F-I-L-A-U-E-R, Flower. So I'm gonna go choose to pronounce it. Anyways, this All Pro Mount. So I requested from my prosthetist to get this in order to increase my, like, mo my uh, mobility on my hunts, uh, whenever I go fishing, stuff like that. The basic concept, this and uh, my Oser uh, leg that I use every single day, they're both K3 and K4, so as advertised, same capabilities in that sense. However, drastic difference in how they perform. I'm gonna test them out here in a little bit and actually show you some, some examples of what I'm talking about. But uh, real quick, the basic concept that makes them different is the fact that the distance from the mount to the bottom of the foot is drastically greater from one foot to the other. So from here to here, compared to, to this distance here is much, much larger. So kind of like when you take a running blade and you increase that distance from the, the toe to, to the mount, it's gonna have more flexibility and more give upon impact. Uh, the same thing applies to this direct mount. Uh, the difference is it has a heel on the back, so it gives you stability as well and you can wear shoes with it, unlike a running blade. So. <clears throat> I am uh, under the impression, or I'm hoping this is going to be the key to success to get me further on my hikes uh, uh, and, and f further into the backcountry, give me more st stability and allow me to, uh, to stalk much more quietly and with hopefully greater success. And also hopefully not fall in the river as many times because I'll be able to have a little bit more flexibility while walking over boulders and rocks and stuff like that. Uh, anyways, let's give it a shot and I'll show you kind of some of the differences. And I want to show the difference between the amount of contact that I have on the ground with my foot, especially the ball of my foot, while doing a squat. So the first clip I'm going to show you is using my Oser, the foot that I wear every day. Now this next one is going to be the All Pro, and I want you to notice how much more of my foot is making contact with the ground as I do my squat. The greater surface contact when I do my squat allows me to have a better center uh, of gravity as I do my squat keeping my weight more evenly distributed over both knees, as you can see in, in these two comparison clips. Notice how my weight shifts back and forth with the Oser more than it does with the All Pro. The next thing I wanted to try was some agility exercises with my agility ladder. So here's some compare and contrast with uh, both legs using my agility ladder. There appears to be less of a difference between the two videos. However, I can tell you that when I actually did the exercise, it felt a lot more comfortable with the All Pro than it did with my Oser. The amount of flexibility that it had and cushion upon impact as I was going through the exercise made a really big difference in my confidence as I went through the exercise. The last thing I want to demonstrate before I actually take it out and go hiking through the wilderness is the ability to run. Now, I won't contrast this to the Oser because I can't even do any sort of running in my Oster because it's just so rigid. So the last thing I'm going to show is when I took it out and actually applied it to a hike out in the wilderness. I went over multiple boulders, up and down trails a couple different times and caught it on video. And I wanted to show the ability for me to balance on uneven surfaces. The way the foot bends and flexes and contours to the uneven surface makes it a lot easier to keep balance as you're walking on those uneven surfaces. In the end is what I've learned is that this foot, although it's much more flexible and has a larger dynamic as far as what it can, can do and what it's capable of, it also requires a lot more hip and leg strength than uh, the, the Oser or any of the more standard pediatric um, type type feet that you're going to get. Even though it's K3 and K4, it definitely requires a higher level of fitness in order to, to use it properly and to be effective with it. But if you have that uh, ability to gain more muscle mass and stuff in your leg, it's definitely, definitely worth it to elevate your, yourself to the next level of, of mobility.
I'm not just trying to advertise specifically for the Flower All Pro. There's also uh, other ones like the Wave. The Wave was the original one that I took uh, to my prosthetist saying I wanted because it was the only one I could find. Um, but then he ordered the Flower. So just pointing out though that there are multiple different companies that make these. However, what you're looking for specifically is that greater distance from the bottom of the foot to the mount. And you're trying to increase that distance as much as possible uh, while still having a heel on it in order to keep stability. And that's the main thing. I hope this video was helpful to any amputees out there. Um, <clears throat> I'm still learning. It's been less than a year since I've had my amputation and it's a constant process. I feel like to learn new things and figure things out. So if this is the slightest bit helpful, please like and subscribe and I hope you guys have a great day.